Amir Khan is a former unified flight welterweight world champion, having held the WBA, IBF, WBC silver welterweight title against Samuel Vargas, who won the NCC welterweight championship, received NABA Canada super welterweight title. The fight took place in England on 8 September 2018. They're both, they're both there. They're both sharp. Khan with a good, good right hand, good open things up, there. and he rocks Vargas, Vargas here in the opening seconds of round number one. And Vargas has been stopped. He's been stopped by Errol Spence and Danny Garcia, so watch out for that. No disgrace, uh, those two names, uh, as the guys that have stopped you. Uh, Danny Garcia, brilliant puncher, and uh, Errol Spence Jr. may be the best in the game. Uh, Khan uh, complaining to the uh, referee. Terry O'Connor and he gets admonished instead for uh, pushing uh, Vargas's head down. Oh, no. The good start though uh, for Amir Khan. He's off to a quick start. Yeah. Very good. He has that blazing fast speed. We all know that. Well, he has to find ways to uh, protect that chin. Vargas is aware of it. He mentioned it in his pre-fight comments. Khan so far showing uh, excellent uh, foot movement. Uh, showing some lateral movement and uh, punching in combinations and appears to be getting the better. Uh, of these early exchanges, uh, I don't know that Vargas has really landed anything yet. No, not yet. They're, they're both, they both really haven't landed anything significant. They will soon. <laughs> Vargas used to being, as we said, uh, his last three uh, fights coming down to uh, majority decisions, split decisions. Uh, Amir Khan scored a one-round knockout. I don't know what we gained from that as he beat LaGreco, but uh, here he's in there tonight with, with a much more considerable challenge. And uh, as we said, a springboard for possibly huge paydays on the horizon. I think it was very important for for Amir to get his confidence back after that Canelo loss. So that that low Greco fight was good for his career. Sa Samuel he says he's a good he's a good uh, body puncher but he needs to start going a little more to the body. Well, he's going to have to do something to uh, take some steam uh, out of Amir Khan uh, in this fight. Uh, Khan has controlled uh, the action here uh, through two minutes of round number one. Uh, I really liked all the things I heard from Joe Goosen. As we said, great admiration and might be uh, just the uh, trick that Amir Khan needed to propel himself uh, back into the picture. A guy who has a sincere and committed belief in him. Good left hand combination there. Uh, Vargas says you got nothing, kid, but uh, then takes another swat to the face there. Uppercut uh, from uh, Amir Khan. Usually when you say you got nothing, it's because you got something. Yes. <laughs> Smiling and posing uh, is not necessarily uh, any answer, uh, and it's been all Amir Khan here in uh, round number one. 30 seconds to go. The opening stanza of this scheduled 12-round welterweight fight. No championship at stake, but uh, an awful lot riding in this one. Nice combination. Three punches there, all landing by Amir Khan. Great speed. Great in and out movement. Doing a good job holding on there as uh, Vargas tries to mount some kind of attack. He is really limited, Vargas, to doing uh, virtually no damage whatsoever here in round number one. I don't think he's tasted any leather yet, Amir Khan. An excellent opening round for Amir Khan, the former champion. Amir looks focused. He looks composed. His eyes are open. He's countering. Vargas can't get he's to happy. him, and there's the end of round number one. So uh, great start here. Uh, if the lessons from the gym uh, were important and uh, Joe Goosen was giving him a game plan, it uh, looked like he followed it to perfection. We go into the corner of Amir Khan with Joe Goosen. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of room to back up when he goes back. Right Joe Brook watching. He's probably studying. Heck of a fighter, Kel Brook, uh, got uh, nailed uh, about midway through that fight with uh, Errol Spence Jr. And that was a fight to put Spence uh, very much on the map, and now he's the coveted guy. And, Maybe uh, among the best pound for pound uh, in the world. Kel Brook, though, no slouch. Always gives it a game. Effort. No, no slouch. Real gentleman, real boxer. He Moved up a couple of weight divisions, right? Yeah, to fight yeah, yeah. Uh, Triple G, did he, he not? Yeah. But he, uh, from what I heard, he's a very dense man, very strong, very strong cool. fighter. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, you know, and sometimes uh, you, you just can't overcome. Uh, he's had this uh, problem with his orbital bone, yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, can finish guy. Here's action from round one. Right. Nice quick hands by Amir Khan, as always. Very quick hands, very quick hands. All right, here we go. Second round scheduled for 12. Jeff DeForest, uh, Ahmed Elbiali, light heavyweight contender here. Pleasure to be with you uh, on the zone as uh, we bring you all of the exciting fight action here from the arena in Birmingham. And uh, Khan unloading here and backs up Vargas. Uh, he falls against the ropes, takes wow. another hard right hand and goes down. Wow. After that sharp uh, right hand. Tremendous one round knockout. You, you land one haymaker, uh, and that has to really be uh, a huge bolt. 
uh, for the uh, chances here of uh, Vargas. He lands another big right hand, oh, and then goes down hurt. himself. <laughs> Again? Off balance. Oh. Uh, he's saying he so, got hit in the back of the head. Hey, the, the head's a part of the box, and so you got to you got to accept it for what it is. Come on. Referee Terry O'Connor calling it a knockdown. Uh, I suppose you can make a case for that. Uh, I'm a big fan of the idea of instant replay to uh, determine such things since it has such a big impact on the scorecards. But all of a sudden, in yet another turnaround uh, of this fight, uh, we see Amir Khan back in control. He's back in control, but it ain't over for Vargas, that's for sure. It seems you know, to have uh, uh, angered Vargas, <laughs> yeah. He's uh, all of a sudden looking like he has much more purpose uh, in this fight. Uh, this is a minute to go in round number three. Both guys have been on the deck. And uh, now uh, Vargas for a second time here in this third round, although somewhat of a questionable knockdown. And uh, we'll get a better look at it after this round is over. This is what Amir needs to do, though. He needs to stay on the outside. Box, use his ability. He's the, he's the more athletic fighter. He's the more talented fighter. And he's quicker. It does appear that uh, after that first round, when he looked so sharp in the early stages of the second round, when he scored the knockdown, that uh, he, he slowed just a little bit after tasting the canvas himself here. Uh, in this fight uh, Vargas doing a great job may have only landed only a handful of punches, but that one big one may be significant Mirth is thinking in there 30 seconds to go away inside of 30 seconds round oh, number three left foot Khan getting himself back in this fight scores with a left hand and nice. uh, Vargas has no answer right now as we come towards the closing moments of this third round Nice, nice combination by me right there. Good job of reestablishing himself in uh, command of this fight uh, So a wild one here at the arena in Birmingham, uh, the fans were uh, already uh, getting uh, into a celebration mode. And the next thing you know, Amir Khan was looking up at the lights. I'm not surprised. Just remember, when he starts speed, when he's on your left hand side here, he's looking for that right hand. Be aware of that right there, okay? Here's the thing. Steal, steal a little, little body on him. Steal a little body on him. No. Joe Goose is saying good things right there. Amir needs to go down to the body, slow, slow Sammy. Slow him down a little bit, you know. Yeah, there's the uh, suspect knockdown. Uh, I would have to say uh, Vargas had a legitimate argument that he got hit on the back of the head uh, while he was uh, yeah, but, falling away. He got hit on the temple there. Yeah, but it's you know it's a part of boxing. It happens. Yeah, uh, ten eight round then uh, for Amir Khan, and uh, his complaint uh, goes uh, without uh, any consideration from Terry O'Connor. You call the knockdown, you don't have to say legit. Great advice, as you said, as we get motivated to uh, look even more impressive and press forward for the knockout. Yeah, it's very interesting advice, you know. Uh, it was Kel Brook. The other day, you know, he had to take his pants off. He didn't look in great shape to me. You know, so, you know, he's saying they can make well to it, but it looked like he was struggling to me. Can you make well to it? I can make well to it. I can make well to it. You know, he's trying he's trying to pull everything he can, you know, to for the fight not to happen. But he's embarrassing, his, you know, his family and his friends, man. Everyone wants to see this fight. Everyone wants to see this fight, you know, but this fight is, this fight tonight is a very good fight, you know, with Vargas, very tough. I've seen it, met him in Canada when Billy Joe boxed Lemieux. Very tough, very grounded fight. Let me Khan be on the campus as well, so it's an entertaining fight, but. Does, does Khan win this Fight very quickly. You know, I think I think I can't, and I think we can get through this fight and win this fight. Yeah. Thanks, Kel. Here we go. Uh, that was Kel Brook, uh, round number eight. Kel Brook. Uh, I always love the way uh, boxers uh, manage to promote themselves into the picture. Yeah, sure, I could make heavyweight or whatever it was that uh, was going to be required, but uh, wouldn't be unfathomable for. Uh, uh, Kel Brook to uh, make 147 and become part of this picture, and uh, he would be a big part of it. Right as uh, all of a sudden, a guy that was badly defeated uh, is coming on in round number 11 against him. Well, in my opinion, when he was when he fought Danny Garcia, and for me, Danny's a great fighter, world champion. He he was winning every round until he got knocked out. So Amir's always going to be in there, and he has the talent to. He well, Vargas uh, trying to do the very same thing. Uh, and uh, you wonder if uh, Vargas isn't raising a few question marks here in uh, round 11 about Khan and uh, how much uh, of a step he can take forward uh, after this fight. Yeah, Vargas is a tough, tough warrior. Been very impressive, uh, Amir Khan, uh, throughout. I don't mean to diminish his performance at all, but uh, Vargas now in round 11 uh, may be finally uh, on the threshold of a breakthrough here and might win around. Also, Jeff, you know this, like sometimes you fight according to your opposition, you know, the better your opposition, the better you fight. So maybe maybe he did take Vargas a little lightly, just how Vargas said. And I, I believe that he did. Here's the end of round 11. We'll go to the 12th and final.